Alrighty, let's play this in full here. There's no sound, but a lot of awesomeness. And I'll probably say this is my favorite out of all the ones that I looked at. It is such... It's so funny. I love it. I love that it's not your expected Thor having a lot of action. It almost plays a bit on the Incredibles of a big guy stuck with a lot of stuff around it. But it goes into so much of the like. I'm almost a big fan of props and sets. So I love already the attention to detail in just how offset all of that is. Just, just that. It's not just copy paste copy paste but the attention to detail for this i love the little light lighting on this employee of the month all of that is great then you got this little uh the typing blah 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 so my critiques would be on things like this this is just me because i'm always kind of picky about that stuff when someone raises his head or anything in terms of a one axis it could be a bit of a have maybe a slight tilt in that head already so it's kind of down and tired and leaning to one side everybody's kind of a lefty or righty so it could just be favoring one side uh, and then as the head goes up you would then have a slight change in rotation it's not just one axis up but a slight roll over into looking up so it's giving a bit more complexity i do love that little hey eh, looking over with that great reaction there i'm just gonna look at thor only at this point i love all this here uh, that reaction you know, offset in the pinky there Love all this. Ugh. And he has so much weight as he comes down. You can see all of that moving. Love all that kind of attention. The detail is great. And then it goes into, all right, give me that. And unfortunately, that is the somewhat you know, signal for the hammer. Great little moment is reaction. Look at all this. Love all that. Hammer comes in. And it's also delayed too, right? You got the hammer coming in. And all of that buckles. Look at that. It's just so cool. I love stuff like this. Throws it all around. Even this, you got a slight bend in all of that. Hits the corners, flips around. This is moving. So many good things here. It's a great little pose. Great expression there. A little asymmetry in the face. Looking over. It's just, it's just so good. Then you have that. Here I would probably say less of a linear, you know, a, li a linear change there. All fingers move at the same time. We'll probably have a bit of relaxation, then a slight rotation in the, in the wrist, and then bring it up. And also maybe a bit less IK. It looks like that elbow going down and the wrist or the hand area going up. Feels a bit, either it's FK countering, it must be IK just because of this. But it has to me at least an IK feel. So we kind of watch out for that. But it has a slight detail in the rotation on this, which I love. I would just squeeze those fingers a bit more. Because right now, imagine you're leaning on those. Or those as in the fingers and the hand and the wrist and then you let go so there's more weight on this now and then i would squeeze those fingers because of it more but i like that there is a rotation in there love all of this clean pose nice finger pose love all that the detail in this how it takes it out it's really well done also things like this is i don't know this like really you might go really i love the coloring i love i just love everything in the shot there's so much that i love about this also that little going up, hold, slight, it's the patient down with a slight rotation, that complexity there. I love all that stuff there. You can see that slight change in how the finger grips that and into this. Again, a nice pose, clean silhouette, that little flappy looseness. It's just so good. Then comes in with that face, which is great. Ah, exit. And then all of that. And then of course, coming in with really... And then you can see the weather change out there. Yeah, I mean, really, it's picky, you know, really picky notes. I mean, I can go frame by frame again. You have so many great moments there. It's just, I can only gush. It's, it's just so good. I really, really, really like the shot. There's so much where I go, if someone opened up my brain and I've gone, what would JD like? It would be this. It has so much in it that I love. So... Instead of rambling, I'm just going to say leave it at that. I'm going to watch this over and over again. I want to save this in my personal folder to study. And that's good reference. And that's something, a quality I want to achieve as well. This is great. It's very humbling to see something done like that. Uh, because it's just, you know, it's, it kicks so much butt. It's great. I love it. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Here's another one with sound. Also super cute. Let's watch this in full. <laughs> that cracks me up. It's so cute. Uh, this one, I want to pick this one just because A, it's super cute. I always love seeing stuff in 2D. And it's little things about the arms. I like, A, it's a cute design. It's super cute. 
And as a, uh, a supervisor at work would always say that the dinosaur tails, they're down a lot. They're actually not up as you would maybe put in tails because of uh, the mood or something. So like raptor tails, like all the tails are usually down. Uh, that's something that when I look at this, it makes me think of the supervisor. It's like, oh yeah, that is actually nicely done here. But it feels almost a bit, I won't say too human with those arms. I would kind of give it a, a bit of a different silhouette with that hand there that arm and then into this potentially adding the curiosity in here where it's you know it's all super cute right and it's not not that it's human but this gets into fairly humany type acting versus more creaturey and i feel like well if that's the 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 path taken here which is super cute why not push it so maybe you know one a bit higher here for offset and asymmetry but a clear silhouette and then with the curiosity, the fingers, I know there's not that much room with the leg in this here, but potentially bringing up those a bit higher where there might be for contrast, you know, further out because of this. And then this maybe, you know, going into that slightly concerned, curious look, the, the hands and the fingers could go up for more of a coming in like, oh, what is this? I'm not quite sure. And then when that happens, then you can bring out those arms again. So when they're up here and closer together, you get into this and then they get further out. Watch out for um, the, the tangent, stuff like that. <clears throat> and then as you get over there, I think that's fine. I think it'll be a little bit of um, the length of it first for uh, kind of staying on models that doesn't recede and scale too much. But again, also maybe potentially for silhouette. But then the biggest thing is this. So as this happens, and I love how curls over it's a cute little face there Urgh! it goes into that then i would take this and the strain of that and put that into those arms as well so right now they almost feel like they just kind of hang versus Urgh! i get up a bit and a little tighter fingers goes back into that and especially here where you might even go Urgh! where they they can go lower but still a bit here with some stronger finger poses not that i can draw uh, at all but that it's something that i would do so that they don't just hang i appreciate that nice clean line and it could even be something where maybe maybe they start up here and then gradually go down as the arms go down as he as he pulls maybe um but it could be something where it, it stays lower but anything that has a bit more tension than what's currently there i do like that there's a bit of a slip that's all super cute. And then I want to go in there to frame my frame. Just look at the effects here. A little crack there. Look at that. Oh, I love this. Inverted color. Look at that. Pop into that. Yeah. Street glass into this. And into that. That's cool too. The only thing is bring back the sound. Same thing here with that crazy town face here, which is all really fun. It Again, it feels like those arms kind of hang and I think it could just be a little bit of a thing of they go up a bit higher and through all of that can still go down it's it's initial and then as it's roaring it can relax a bit still have tension in it but a bit of a change I think that's that's the main thing it's short and hopefully sweet critiques because they're short and sweet but uh, that's not for me to judge if it's sweet but that's the only thing that struck me there maybe something in the arms to kind of just kind of show whatever emotional point there is and sort of you know anger or power whatever or curiosity and slight concern kind of pushing that potentially in those arms and in a picky way i know this is the draw but what i would probably do for the push here right into that a slight turn pivoting off of here where well i mean depends you can pivot from the back side there and then have your toes more spread out the main thing to me was pushing down and spreading out those toes but it could also be a this way pivoting off of this here where it rotates like that but this stays put but still have um spread out toes to kind of kind of push that squash for pressure going up this way a little picky thing uh, maybe that could be fun for a little detail but overall super cute i love the idea super cute designs uh and that's that thanks buddy let's watch this here in full there's no sounds i could make sounds but then they're silly. Dong, 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 dong. Pa -pa. <laughs> like that it comes out behind him there. So the main reason why I'm picking this one is because if uh, any student is watching here, 
I always think in terms of contrast and how a character progresses. What I like about this here is the height of this. He starts very confident, right? Stays put here as a slight lean because this is down, which is good. And then he goes, huh, what is this? And then just starts to hunch over a bit more. The head is a bit lower. Sees this, like, wait a minute, this is not good. Gets even lower. There's more tension. There's more tension as well. And then as this continues, gets a little lower and lower. That's the only thing I would say is probably as this progresses, I will go even lower and caricature that even more. Higher shoulders, head down, so that you have a bigger contrast from low to back to high into that. That's the main thing I want to talk about. Other than that, it's things like maybe potentially exploring just a bit stronger mechanics of if that arm goes up a bit more in the shoulders and in the chest, there's a bit of a pop there, pop turn. You can see this here in the triceps, triceps coming down here. Other than that, I will probably explore body mechanics just a bit more, like as this arm goes up a bit more in the shoulder, potentially a bit more in the chest there. This is a bit of a, it feels like a pop as that arm kind of twists around. If you can see that in that triceps here, kind of shop out, shop, pops there. It almost has a bit of a full extension, over extension that in that IK arm. There's a bit of a, bit of a drift in that thumb. I would probably just hold that a bit longer and then come out in a more decisive opening, knowing that the hammer is going to come in here. Probably have a little bit of a lean rotation here that leads a bit with the handle and then when he gets in you have a bit of a stronger you know change from there to there stuff like that or that arm comes back and again more in the shoulder you have a bit of a change there and she in the head as well just stuff like that i feel like could be a bit stronger even this when this comes down there's something where bang goes up and then when it comes back down i would have it slightly over it has a bit of a, a harsher not that this has to be metal here, but a bit more of a clang clang, like it comes down and then the, the the vibration will kind of move and translate the hammer over a bit. So stuff like that, or how it holds, even when this moves over, bang, it's a, bit, a bit looser on there, watching out some changes in the finger poses so that the wrist can relax a bit and be slightly more aligned with the forearms. It doesn't have that, that hammer look. It, he, I know he's holding a hammer, but... It's that a very common wrist pose thing of just having a bit of a, of a broken wrist silhouette there. Yeah, it's mostly that. And again, like I said, being stronger with the shoulders, maybe go down with the root as well as this whole thing progresses. On this, potentially, where does he end up? I'm kind of in the middle, but it could be where it's not just up, but also up to the side, potentially, just giving a bit more, a bit more exploration of of room not that you can go out into the the deep um end of the of the shop but a bit more out of that so it's not just stuck center where the root is where we never really move anything and maybe that could also because it's a bit more sideways the twist potentially in the body will help with some of the silhouette even though we can read it we can read the face we can read all this but kind of separating these a bit more or a pose like that where it's just a stump where you want to be longer into something like this where you have a clean arm and then at the end again not in front of it maybe it's somewhere to the side but i know that it comes out right in the middle so it would have to be something where the last one is is somewhere else i mean it could also be that -da 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 thing the last one is here to then push all of this this way rah, for cleaner silhouette fa ah, and the and the breakage here you know, picky little things, but I know you want to land in this to also show that. It just be kind of freeing the character from being stuck here, root wise. Because you can, you can scrub through this. You can see there's some some changes there, but even on something like that, on a turn like that, I would give this a bit of a favoring one of the legs. So it's a bit of a lean weight shift. So I have some some hip changes. So that's mostly that. It's little changes there in terms of body mechanics. And you can also see. There's some drift in the fingers there as they open up. But other than that, uh, that is that for me. Thanks. Alrighty, let's watch this here. There is sound. Dare you challenge him, John? Nice. So there's... I'm going to turn on the sound here. Uh, there's 
a specific thing that I wanted to talk about here that I thought was really clever. And I should probably move my face a bit up here because of it. I like this here where it hits that tooth. Shoots that out. And then what happens is that this also darker color silhouette boom, lands here. And the eye, does. there's so much way to this where I want to follow this and my eye rests here and then he slides in and occupies the same space I like that we go from well you know we're supposed to kind of somewhat look here and then he's also right there I thought that was a really clever leading the audience's eye to that spot for him to be and then he can do the rest I think that's pretty cool I wanted to point that out first because uh, I like that uh, animation wise the cool little things I would potentially tweak like here maybe lead into that hold up even if it's a down or up whatever the original starting position is but it feels a bit locked you got a lot of movement there in the shoulder torso root area with the feet kind of locked so any kind of continuing moving hold momentum of where he came from i think that would be kind of neat and especially if you have that that stop with that it could be i don't know whatever to me it feels like it will come up and then could even be starting with you know off um cut off here where it's that low and it enters frame and holds that i would probably rotate that hammer out a bit for a cleaner silhouette so it's a bit more no it's not there but imagine just like not stopping here for a tangent but just going a bit higher um and even potentially i would curl that chest over just a bit more to bring that a bit higher it's basically you want a stronger line of action me personally i would have a bit of a bend throughout with that leg that leg come out this way so even if you want to stay here i mean for composition i would probably have that hammer run here ish and then that uh grip is here and then you can have just a, a tighter curl like i said here with that but it's a little bit higher again i can't really draw but <laughs> it's horrible horrible if someone critiques something and can't draw but just that it feels a bit ik ish ik feet not enough of a hold in that. It feels kind of static. Same thing here as you go down. It just feels like there's a lot of movement there, but not quite reacting enough to it. Also going down a fairly straight path with no rotational change in the feet. So watch out for any type of um, IK looking movements there. So to me, it's mostly stuff like that where it's silhouette, even this here being picky and bringing this higher. So there's not not quite a tangent you are crossing over to that shoulder but it's just kind of why not clear this up for a clean silhouette where it's minimum like this goes into that that's all cool into this that i will probably bring that hand down a bit lower and even if you cross over into the back you would have a color silhouette but this just feels silhouette wise a bit um the little stump there which is kind of we don't quite understand the structure of that arm like that feels better here and i know i'm going you know with with in betweens where it's we hold in this but still why not might as well go in there frame by frame and tweak things so it's just a bit cleaner and there seems to be a bit of a camera shake as this goes by that's you know cinematic a little, a cinematic conceit there it's okay i was looking at the spacing it felt a bit jittery but that is strong so it could be something where i would potentially add whatever you want to do with maybe some structures spiky structures or ruins or trees or clouds or whatever so that when this does happen that we understand we see the rest in the frame move as well because of the shake so it's not just suddenly some jittery movement through there i think that could um, really really help i do love that he goes and has a bit of a treading here of the feet i think that's actually pretty cool i would just give it maybe a bit more of an arc just a bit i like that there's a little bit of a drag there but maybe a bit of an arc again for cleaner silhouette or kind of separating the legs a bit more do like the swing here that's all really cool it's also cool to rate that so you can do that <sighs> goes into this which is really neat <clears throat> and for this it would be again pushing the silhouette where i would turn the whole thing globally just a bit more so that this arm is not right in front of it again if you just squint your eye or you push seven in my whatever wherever you do this um for a silhouette you know pushing that that arm would be there maybe that arm would be out there so it's not all in front of the head and even as we, you know, must we hold there for quite some time. But then as you go back, even this feels like mm, we're kind of losing an arm. It could even be 
It's kind of like that IK stuck leg thing of, mm, I don't want to move my leg, but it feels like you want to go with that. Again, clean and silhouette, rotate the whole character around. And then potentially take a step back or a change in posture for this so that you can again have a cleaner silhouette where maybe that leg is further back and it might be still have that leg back here, but it would be something where we would see that arm uh, in a cleaner silhouette versus the overlappy aspect of this. And that's kind of that. Thank you. Alrighty, let's wash this in full first. There's no sound. That's my ridiculous dubbing of this. Super cool. I really, really like the idea of that switch right there. I think that's super clever, super cute. And I'm not... It's, it's really well done. I already like that offset finger pose like you know the initial pose i think the only thing maybe getting rid of some of these elements kind of blends in a bit color wise but it's also very busy adding a lot of elements and tangents and things so potentially simplifying and you could have that you know a bit more detail maybe through here and then maybe through here so that these lines kind of converge into pointing at this character i mean it's already very centered so it could even be a bit more in the thirds and then you have Maybe that tapering here and maybe tapering here. That's a bit more in the thirds and a guiding line to that character. Uh, so, you know, simple thing there. But it has good weight there. You got a big move in that arm, which I will probably have a little bit of rotation in the chest down towards us. So it's just you move that arm, but it's a little bit of... Not as to a crazy move over there, but just a little bit more. So it doesn't feel like, especially through here, that it's so isolated in the shoulder and that arm because i see a movement up like as an inhale but maybe a bit more influence on that arm on the chest but you got that one frame thing got the drag there that's all cool influence there a bit of lightning all the way down to here that's super cool get a little bit of a change in the fingers as he moves around that's all super cool it's ever so slightly ikish here where that pivot is right there kind of rolls off those pixels right there where I would bring that a little bit in and out into that. Just get a bit of a, a bit of an arcier swing there. <laughs> like all of this. Definitely nice lines through that. You get a little drag in the foot here. That's cool. And your foot roll gets a bit locked through there. I can maybe a bit more compression that toe. Super picky stuff here. That's all cool. I love all the details through there. You definitely have a nice swoosh. Full extension looking up there, like that's nice offset. Uh, tricky shape there, but that's the enveloping there, but it's all neat. I would probably, I'm so picky, one frame tangent here, just kind of free that up. And again, watch this in real time, right? I noticed the hammer, but it's not like, it's like, oh my God, it's a tangent. But it's just something I'm always picky about and why not as always, you're in there frame by frame, why not just make it all super clean? And then as it goes up, the only thing I would say here is that it feels a bit and it dies a bit. And you even have a little bit of a camera doesn't completely freeze. But everything kind of comes to a stop where I will probably push this a bit more. Where it goes that where instead of that relax, maybe separate the legs a bit more. Bring this arm a bit so that this can be a bit out here separated potentially. Not that this is not clear. You still have a clean silhouette. But I'll go into this with a bit more of a moving hold and just a bit cleaner. Because I like how you compress here to then come back out here. And imagine you are a bit pushed in that pose. So you have somewhere bigger to go. And if it's that higher into that bit of a compression here. Now you might argue, yeah, but then it takes away from this. Then I would just push this a bit more. But that's more what I'm thinking pose-wise here. But in a more relaxed form, where just a bit higher, a bit cleaner, and a bit more into a moving hold, and keep this where you have the bend in the leg. You can still push that to get in there, get uh, you know, into that pose there. But I love all this. Watch out, it's a bit IK foot here. It kind of stays put as we go down. So I would drop maybe that foot a bit, or go a bit higher, just kind of counter that. So it's not frozen, it's super picky again, but why not? I mean, they're friend, my friend, it's good to be picky. But nice path, nice curvature in the body following that path, which is really nice. 
goes into this again nice finger pose clean i will probably take out that foot a bit more so it's not a block through that we can maybe have potential separation because you're already kind of there doing it you know with a tangent so separating that leg a bit more i mean it could even be just trying out a pose with that leg back and this one maybe potentially crossed more it might be too much of a twist potentially but it's also not the cleanest silhouette so could be worth checking how far can we push that that leg out while this leg is out here or don't go as high and maybe push that line a bit more like that instead of that for that leg here and then keep that back here bring up that leg like that maybe I'm just kind of checking silhouette to here this is a bummer that we cover that face with that i don't know i haven't done a rig review and i will do one of that rig in the future I'm curious if those flaps can be bent to bring that down a bit of the costume so we don't cover that that face there. Worst case, maybe transiting the head up and over a bit. Might feel a bit broken, but it's a fairly wide chest. You could potentially cheat that head over here a bit higher. Maybe. Now, that's all super cool. And again, I love the idea here. The only thing I would say is feels fairly relaxed. And I think it would be neat also animating a little strap a bit here there's nothing there we kind of need uh, polishy detail but as you go down because you have all that nice detail in the fingers might as well put that time into this i will personally match her face with her <laughs> that's awesome frame too with that and even though it goes by quickly you still have a bit of a ah, just the feel and you will see for a couple of frames the blackness here in the teeth the white it will still register but it's a nice blend here in terms of that. You got tension in the fingers, that's super cute. And then you can have into this. Only thing I would say, picky, he's here. During the right, those th uh, frames, those two, three frames, I would tighten the fingers a bit more. So he's here. And then as he goes down, it tightens more. Because the, the whole body tightens and the muscles into that. I don't think for this here, um, one picky thing is like that i'm so picky people like really but that wrist goes right there into that that foot i'll probably break that silhouette with the with the fist out here and then that leg there to be just picky just because we're we're resting uh on that but and you're very close here but that's not that's fine the thing that i would say here once he does this right i think it could be i don't know it could be a bit more shock in the shoulders and the chest like little, almost like a little shock wave not that you have to do like a wobble in the handle that goes all the way into here but you know he's not that strong tight muscles to be more like prepare like give a little bit of a wobble potentially but the biggest thing is this he looks up right and it's the thing here where is it where let's go back let's go back let's go back let's go back and right there that can also potentially be just visually bigger so we really register that going up my question is, when he's done, he has like a bit of a, oh, there's a bit of a realization smile. It's super cute. I like the little head shake. That's all super cute. You can potentially relax those fingers a bit as the whole thing relaxes. Maybe shoulders go down, but like a oh, bit of a push of that moment. But then I would push the face where it's not like a yay, full smile. Not that that's wrong. Could also be a version. Not that, you know, this is wrong, but I would just push that a bit more. So it's a, a clear change into a smile and hey i did this because it's borderline oh i did not do this where it's like then i would do something where let's go back here this goes up 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 but stays there and then comes back down and then he has a moment of huh and maybe a dart and realizing oh of course, that goes against the whole thing of, well, I am Thor and I have the power and I'm inspired and yeah. So it's obviously a totally different shot and a different ending. But I'm saying this just because it almost it almost felt like that where, wait, wait, is he, is he actually happy? Wait, it didn't come down, right? I'm not seeing it here. And that was kind of my first impression. So I would just push that smile a bit more for him to be really happy that, that he did it. Picky, picky, picky. But it's a really cool shot, really cute idea. Love everything in there. Uh, and that is that. Thanks. Alrighty, let's play this in full. Uh, there is sound.
Da, da, da. Super cool. That is so cool. I wanted to show this one just because it's awesome. Come on. Look at that. That's really, really cool. I love this. Love the whole through the clouds into that seeing this here it's just really really cool i think the re the other reason why i want to talk about it uh is looking at some of these poses and the timing like this feels just a bit i don't say soft but it's a bit you're hitting this and it's almost a bit mirrored and then kind of stuck in that same pose and i i it would be really cool to go into this into that where it's potentially however you want to rotate whichever way but compressing it more almost a bit of a squash at the apex there to then re-extend for a, a stronger full extension down on the land arm up just kind of pushing that so it gets out of that somewhat similar pose throughout and it's almost not quite i mean it has an overall right to left it has an almost feel like we're going left to right here but I wonder if this would be better served starting here because the hammer comes down this way to just reinforce that whole left to right cha -ba -ba feel. That would be just a little picky thing there. I do love that we get down to this and have all the silhouette of this into this. It's a really cool look. Then going back into that, same thing where we're a bit... I know this is further outstretched. It's not completely mirrored, but it has a slight feel of... I think this could be just pushed more in asymmetry where maybe let me go back here. I know we're kind of zooming into this into that pop thing where this is kind of right there, but it might be too poppy to cheat it. But it's also the other thing of could we either cheat the lighting so we have a fake highlight on this whole hammer surface there for a cleaner silhouette as we start to lose things a bit through there or have that not really there and and do that rock formation you know have it somewhere else i mean do we really need it we're here we come down it's this one imagine it's not there and we zoom into this and it just has something like that in the background that's much lighter because of the haze and then that can stay as dark so then you have a cleaner silhouette a little picky thing i think that could be kind of neat and it's kind of potentially pushing in this pose into more asymmetry. That is a tricky thing because it's so fast. We're not quite understanding what is going on in terms of we were suddenly in this moment. And again, it's tricky to do because it's really, really fast. It could be things where maybe a cheat of that could be lightning and then lightning happening that would highlight this whole background so we have a full-on silhouette for this for these couple of frames and pushing this so it's not all dark same thing here we're just starting to lose detail and it can even be you know flash flash less flash back to big flash the same thing here we're starting to lose elements where it just gets somewhat lost it gets better towards the end but even this dark part here i just wish it could be Again, cheated lighting. What if this is also up here? We just have a, a strong rim light there that would also potentially highlight this. Just cheating some elements because this is really cool once we get into this, like, you know, silhouette like that. That's all really cool. Same thing again when we land. It just it gets so dark. I'm, I'm losing things. So anything in terms of cheating for highlights would be really cool. And then same thing here with the pose where once we get to, I feel like that's, that's the pose throughout the whole thing. And I know it changes there, but it just has an overall feel of, how ah, does this, it could push this more, this with potentially full stretch on the body, then going up again into a bigger squash with legs out maybe more, and then going back down into a bigger stretch again, just kind of pushing those moments a bit more. And then once you get into this, I would exaggerate that light, the lighting, not the lightning, but I could even have lightning, whatever, but just pushing this more where I see it, I get it, but potentially imagine this was just, you know, 20% brighter with maybe a rim highlight for all the edges there, just kind of pushing and cheating that. So that strong edge light there would, have, would be here as well, just to push that. Picky things, because it's awesome, and I'm picky when I see awesome things. And that is that. Thanks. All right, cool clip here. Hassan, let's play this in full first. Cool, cool, cool. Bring 
down that sound a bit. So as the character comes down here, this is the point of, not to impact, but just the landing point here with the foot. So what I would do, I would, instead of pointing down this way and making it look like it's kind of, not sliding, it's kind of like a 2D card going over, I think I would have the feet out this way so they're kind of anticipating that spot. Just to give it, give it that kind of, that kind of line there, because it has a bit of a down, 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 pop over to over there and maybe even have the feet come in first just as like an ease into the appearance even if that will be spacing wise wrong um it just feels like the spacing from here to here is, is small and from here to here where nothing is there just a little picky thing at the beginning and then as the character lands i'll probably also push the shoulders just up a bit more and even maybe the hammer it's tricky was the hammer is you know he's strong but it's still heavier you could have an offset where that arm is higher versus the hammer potentially but i would just go a bit higher here mainly because boom on this then i would bring in the shoulders just a bit delayed into that impact not that it's like a full land it's a land hop but it feels a bit we're here and then it comes down gets into that pose and then that's it where it feels just like a clean rotation versus a bit more of a, you want to feel the body parts kind of compress and overlap. Cool finger poses too. I think that's okay. I would probably tweak them a little bit here. They're a bit evenly spaced out. And then you might as well bring that arm out here for silhouette. So it's not, the thumb is crossing here, but it's a bit of a tangent through all of this. And then we cut into that. So just that for readability. I will bring out that arm. I do like all the strap animation. That's all cool. And you got cool roll on that side of the foot. It's really good detail. I just kind of picky notes that I'm seeing here. And it cuts well across here. And then as you go out, this feels a bit relaxed to me in terms of that. Like this. Ah! So it'll go out even potentially with fingers. Ah, just a bit more tense. I feel like this is a different emotion than here. Kind of pushing that a bit more even that even though it's a nicely posed out finger um you know, hand position i would just kind of watch out for that and that that's in real time there's always you know a difference between you watch this in real time it's all very cool then you go well it's also a bit down 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 whoa something like that in terms of an arc and i think we could just have one more frame where it's a bit lower bit lower and then come back up just maybe smooth it out a bit again it's not too shabby in real time but it could be something like you might argue it adds to that explosiveness because there's that sudden change but i feel like to me it would be potentially a nice swing down with that one arm and then lead into the other swing of that i think it would be worth a, a try to see how it feels and I do like that he has a little bounce back. So a lot of energy coming forward. And I feel like that could also be... It's almost like this leg stops it a bit too soon. Like he's going into... Like he has all that anticipation, that the leading with the shoulder. But then we're here. And I feel like we could almost push this where, you know, it's about here and head is here. I know it's, it's a... It will change the timing of how long it's going to be over that one leg and then come back totally can come back into hops but i feel like rah, it's almost like we don't want to move that leg and it compresses too much uh, me personally i would go a bit a bit further but this is all cool into that i like all this and then here not that that's again that's not wrong and i like the silhouette and that hands nice and simplified but i wonder if that could be a Waiting with that hand to get a bit of a harsher boom, hit back. So it's more like boom, back like that. Again, this is not wrong. It's just different. Where it's just a softer pullback because he anticipates it sooner. Again, I don't know. I was curious what that would feel. But one thing I would do is when he does this and when he goes back, it might even open up the fingers or close them. Or it's something where, not close them, but um, like he's like this. And then he goes, almost open them because he sees it's coming. 
anticipate that back by opening the fingers first and then go back to really make sure that grip is there because it starts to curl already there and I would, I would open the fingers and delay a bit and then in that section through there you would almost feel and see the fingers close in good stuff in the strap yeah this is all picky I'm, I'm picking the shot just because it looks really cool this would be kind of a couple of things I would I would potentially tweak even here right before it goes back a slight change in the facial expression even if you want to relax a bit or get a bit more serious because it's about to come in something like a little anticipation or preparation for uh this <clears throat> and then into the the same vein the main thing here is that we don't have pupils clearly right so you can't do darts and thought process but it feels like he's just going rrr, rrr, what into this and it would be cool to add something where again we can't do eye darts but maybe a slight relaxation in the eyebrows and potentially maybe like a dart or two in the head it's kind of like it'll, it'll, it's almost like your eye darts are now in the head doing this so we we have a slight read on the face that he sees something processing something and then that's the final result because of it and then i will probably not have that second drop in the shoulders personally just because it's <clears throat> it's going back here breathing and then it would be more of like a like almost an inhale hold or an exhale wait just, uh, or it's anything tense that would lead to the thought process if that makes sense like it's more physical breathing and then it stops because it's wait what <gasps> and then goes into like that and that i think that would be picky i do love that look of that render i gotta say and that is that very cool shot it's gonna be my subjective two cents and that is that thanks Alrighty, there's sound here let's play this in full <laughs> I like this one a lot. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, I have tiny details. I mainly picked this one because I like it a lot. I love this here. And there's so much I like. I like that this is a bit, you know, cartoonier in terms of its approach, in terms of the handle. It has its own life. I like all of that here, the effects and the look of it. I love that you can see the skeleton. I love the whole progression going in there. All of that, the crazy action into that. And then that at the end. My comments for this here are, are minimal in terms of things like a rotation like that with the wrist, with the fingers kind of all evenly cupped, uh, somewhat evenly, but most of them. That I would give it a bit more of a, this is a bit more interesting hand pose, finger pose, and also rotating that hand a bit more so it's less just one axis type of thing. I'd also have fingers that, same thing here, just a bit more offset and also not moving at the same time. They all feel like when they do anything, they curl or move or extend, whatever you have. Like here, for instance, they all do it at the same time and also hit fairly harsh um, moments there where I don't know if that needs to be that harsh. Silhouettes uh, sometimes could be maybe a bit cleaner. Not that it's crazy. Again, the color silhouette helps here with the fingers, but it's mostly detail stuff on that. The other one would be, it's a tricky thing was it, it moves so quickly, but at this point, he goes up here and the camera already starts to go and I would I will personally delay it so that it's the character that leads the camera but also because of that imagine the frame would be here instead of up there we would have a, a longer look on what the legs are doing not that you have a probably longer look on the push off I mean, it's nice that you can see this so we understand that's where I want to go but it's just it's a combination of we're kind of going a bit too soon with the camera but also almost missing what the character is doing here because you also have a bit of an overlap of arm of leg so the silhouette's kind of gone but it's also all very dark at least on my monitor i mean i'll watch other things <laughs> that seem better so it could also be me but generally it's just the silhouette could be strong in terms of the background so it's just a whole combination of things of silhouette camera and background here that kind of make this moment a, a bit mushy where it's like, what did i just watch did he just jump off oh he put his leg on there to push off i think that could be just a bit stronger and speaking of which here it's all fun to watch all of that but i'm not quite seeing it would be neat even if it's just something that's slightly lighter maybe it could be clouds or something that gives a better indication of what the camera is doing 
but I love what's happening there. And again, if you see all the jitteriness, which is, you know, implied camera shake there. But if you don't have anything that I'm that I'm seeing here, uh, that being said, I also have a lot of light here with a slight glare in my monitor just because of the green screen. So I could be missing some detail here there, I say, because if I look at it, I don't know if that's me or not, but I would probably push that a bit more. And then when it goes here, I feel like that goes up into almost the default pose. I see a bit of a lean over there and that arm down, but I think it could be kind of fun to go, ha, I, I tamed you, where it's, he gets up and it's almost more leaning forwards with that kind of like, ha, see, see, and then that way, when this happens, it's it's a bigger contrast to go from here to here versus standing straight and then kind of just moving over. I think this could be pushed a bit more. But also in terms of this seems like, oh, how is the paint? Like, how is the wrapping job on the grip? It doesn't quite feel like, well, what what is he trying to say here? It's minimal. It's a picky thing. But I think this could be kind of fun to go. Huh? See, told you. And then one more thing. And that's that. Short critique. But. I wanted to bring up those tiny details, but mainly I wanted to show this clip and have that in that compilation here because it is so awesome. And that is that. Thanks. brain is a muscle and that's a muscle and that's a muscle and they are all muscles this is all muscle so I am covered in brains I have no plans to die today <laughs>